Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name's Kat. As always, thank you for stopping in. Today, we are gonna do kind of like a part B to my review of the Aloha Tan by Hawaiian Tropics, but we are gonna compare it to the Jergens Instant Sun Foam. Now, I had a couple of comments on my last video. What is the difference? Which one works better? Blah, blah, blah. So I will kind of run over that quick with you. This is gonna be another quick review, five minutes or less. I like doing these because um, it gives you guys some information. It gives me some a chance to kind of talk about some of the products I super love, but also um, it kind of gives you a comparative between the two if you're kind of humming and hawing in the store between the two, but first coffee. So obviously we've got two completely different, different products here. Um, this one, Hawaiian Tropics Aloha Glow, is a gradual tan in a lotion formula. It does come out like a lotion. It's, it has no smell to it. I'll make sure it has no smell. Not really, it has a, actually more of a sunscreeny, very, very light, coconutty um, kind of feel to it. It is a lotion and with that lotion, I feel that I get a better or a more controlled self tan. Um, it does have a very quick drying period. I also find though, I like to use, I know this sounds funny, but I like to use a rubber glove when applying the lotion only because I find that the lotion actually gets into my hands a lot more. Um, yes, I do have a mitt for the foam, I don't enjoy the mitt. I feel like I still get streaks. I feel like it doesn't give me an even tan, um, things like that. So this Hawaiian um, Tropic Aloha Glow is a self tanning mix. And like I said, it's a gradual tan. So over time using it, you will start to develop kind of a nice glow. I don't necessarily look like looking Bali bronzed all the time, um, but I do enjoy having a little bit of, you know, nice pigmentation to my skin or like kind of a glow type. So I do enjoy this product for that. However, when I'm in a pinch um, or I have somewhere to go and I need a tan right now, right now, right now, I do use the Jergens Instant Sun Light Bronzing Natural go Glow Mousse. Um, I'm gonna put a glove on for this because I'm a little scared to get it on my hands. You do need to shake it up really, really well and it does come out in a foam, okay? And then in that foam world, you can work it into your skin, onto your body, whatever. But I feel like I don't get as much control with the foam mousse before it dries. I feel like I always have to put an oil on after the fact just to make sure that it is on my skin properly and not leaving that streak. So that is my one complaint is that, it, yes, it says 60 seconds dry time. I think that's a full on lie. I think it dries a lot faster than that. Um, and I don't feel like I have as much control with the foam versus the milk. There is a price difference between the two. The Aloha Tropic uh, Glow Self Tanning Milk is $14.99. It has, I have seen it at $16.99 and I have not seen it any cheaper. However, it is a fairly new product. The Jergens Natural Glow Instant Sun ranges between $9.97 and $13.99. You do get less product in the foaming cleanser than, or the foaming tan than you do at the Aloha. Um, probably the reason why is because you have to use the Aloha over and over and over again to see a result versus the Jergens Instant Sun. You will see a result, I always find like within five hours, within six hours for sure. And if you leave it on overnight, you will see the tan fully developed. Um, another thing is too, is longevity. And I know these are obviously supposed to be wash off products, totally get that. However, you know that in between like your week, if you tan on the Monday and the Friday, you know that if you have a shower or, or bath in between, things don't last as long clearly. But I do find that the Aloha tan stays on a little bit longer and also doesn't flake off and get super patchy if you've had a shower midweek. I do find the Jergens foam does really flake off or it leaves weird marks or an, more of an uneven feel, I guess. So the Aloha, Hawaiian Tropics Aloha, um, once you've showered in the midweek, so say if you've tanned on Monday and you know you're gonna tan Friday but you need a shower on Wednesday, 
you have that shower on Wednesday and I find that the Aloha tan, the Aloha milk, um, kind of washes off more evenly than the Jergens uh, foam. I feel like the foam always for me gets really patchy and really flaky and really weird if I've showered midweek. And yes, you should put it on after your shower, but who like who does that all the time? So I, I feel like I get more control and I'm better off using the Aloha milk unless I'm in a pinch. Like I said, I do enjoy the Jergens foam. I feel like it dries a little bit too fast and I feel like I don't get as much control out of the foam versus the lotion version of it. So, I mean, these both are really great products, but I prefer the gradual tan over the instant foam. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for stopping in. My name's Kat. As always, it's good to see ya. Give me a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you guys again soon.